We are on page 239, and this page teaches us how to find the value of powers. In other words, we're going to calculate uh, totals. Uh, but, be first, but first, we need to talk about the property of zero, so this kind of purple box at the top. To find the value of a power, remember that the exponent indicates how many times to use the base as a factor. But this property right here that we're going to talk about first is the uh, property of zero. The property of zero as an exponent. The value of any non-zero number raised to the power of zero is equal to 1. For example, the example they give us is if we have 5 raised to the zero power, the answer is 1. Uh, that's true for any non-zero number. So for example, let's say I had a larger number like 16. 16 to the zero power is equal to 1. How about 1 to the zero power? 1 to the zero power is 1. So whatever number we have, 5 or 16 or 1, if we get raised to the zero power, the answer is 1. Zero power, the answer is 1. Zero power, the answer is 1. I want you to pay attention to this because this will be featured on a quiz. Okay, let's move on. Example 2 says find the value of each power. So when these were, I'm not asking you to write these out, I'm asking you to find the value. So 10 to the fourth power says identify the base and the, and the exponent. The base is 10 and the exponent is 4. What that means is that we have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Pay attention to the fact that there are no 4s in the problem. The 4 here doesn't indicate that there's a 4 in the problem. The 4 indicates that we have 4 10s used as factors. So what's the answer to that? I mean, there's different ways to solve these. I kind of like to do it like this. 10 times 10 is 100. This 10 times 10 is 100. Now I'm just going to do 100 times 100. That's just simply counting up zeros. I'm just going to do 1 times 1 is 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. The answer to this one is 10,000. Uh, B is just a little bit more complicated. B is 0 0.4 to the third power. What this problem means is 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.4. And I'm actually just going to ignore the zero points, and I'm going to do 4 times 4 is 16, times another 4 is 64, 4 times 4, or 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, I get 64. Now where does my decimal go? Well, we learned this a long time ago. We count 1. 2, 3. We have to count the decimal over. 1, 2, 3 places. The answer is 0 0.064. And if that just doesn't seem right to you, you can check it. 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 is 0 and 64 thousandths. Question C. Remember what we learned earlier? We learned earlier that the value of any non-zero number raised to the power of zero, this right here is the power of zero, the answer is one. It's almost a trick question. Anytime you see this right here, you know the answer is going to be one. Okay, so we're on D now. And these look a lot harder than they really are. So let's go ahead, and I think I'll cover it up. Let's pretend we don't know what the answer is here. What is two-thirds inside the parentheses with the two as the exponent? What does that mean? What does this mean? What this means is two two-thirds. So it just looks like this. That's all it means. This two right here means that there are two of them. So I'm going to multiply. And then you remember how to multiply fractions. You just multiply your numerators. Two times two is four. And three times three is nine. And those won't simplify, and that's the answer. Four, four ninths. That's it. They're a lot simpler than they really look. What, what can make them harder is if we end up with uh, an exponent that's a big number. That's where it gets harder. But if the exponent is just a two, they're really pretty simple. All right, let's try these at the bottom of the page. For the your turn here, I recommend that you try these. I think that you probably have had enough instruction to give these a good go. Try. It. Go ahead and pause the video. Try these four problems, and when you're ready, play the video and check your answer and see if you got them right.
All right, number six. So for these, uh, it says find the value. I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to I'm going to write out what they mean, just as because that's proper instruction. And then I'm also going to find the value. So what does number six mean? Three to the fourth power doesn't mean three times four. It means three times itself, four times. This doesn't look like it's going to be a big number, but it's going to it's going to be bigger than you think. So uh, three times three is nine. And then I like to do it this way. This 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 9 is 81. That's the value, 3 to the 4th power. The value is 81. Number 7, 1 to the 9th power. What does that mean? By the way, these parentheses right here, they don't mean anything. That's not a big deal. The parentheses for number 7 and no parentheses for number 6, they're not required for number 7. They're just throwing them in there to, to maybe mess with you. Number eight, the parentheses are required. So um, the other way you could have done number seven, you you totally could have written it as um, just one to the ninth power. They're really the same thing. Either way, what does that mean? It mean it means one times one times one times one times one times one, and I got to get nine of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, a bunch of times. Well, 1 times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1. And I think I can stop there. Uh, 1 to the power of 9, the value is 1. Again, almost a trick question. It's not really a trick question, but it's it's easier than it looked. All right, number 8. Do you remember how to do these? 2 fifths inside parentheses to the third power. This doesn't mean 2 fifths times 3. It means two-fifths times itself three times. And I wrote three-fifths. It's supposed to be two-fifths times two-fifths. Now, we just solved one of these uh, earlier in the page. And we remember that it's really not too hard. Now, we just multiply our numerators. Two times two is four times two is eight. A lot of kids look at this and they think it's six because they count by twos. But just, you know, here hear the logic. Two times two is four times two is not six. Two times two is four times two is eight. The numerator is eight. This number is going to be a little bit bigger. Five times five is 25 times five is 125. The value of two-fifths to the third power is eight. One hundred twenty-fifths. And what does... 12 to the second power mean? It means 12 times 12 twice, just two of those. And 12 times 12 is 144. All right, good job. You are done with page 239.